So let's prove that subset lattices are Hamiltonian. In other words, the cover graph is Hamiltonian. Here is the subset lattice for a two cube. Empty set at the bottom, singleton one over on this side, singleton two over on this side, and at the top, one, two. Is there anybody in the room who cannot find a Hamiltonian cycle in this graph? We're in deep trouble if there is such a person. Okay, so the two cube has a Hamiltonian cycle. As a cover graph, what graph is this? C4? It's a four cycle. All right, so it's true when n is two. Let's see how we walk up from two to three and then from three to four. All right, so now here's what I've done. There are three pictures of a three cube. Look at the picture on the left. You have a lower two cube and you have a higher two cube in the sense of the inductive construction. What I have done is draw the four cycle in each of them in blue. You see the four cycle in the lower left and in the upper right. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the leftmost figure. All right, now let's go to the middle figure. What have I done in the middle figure? I have chosen my favorite edge. Any edge will do. In this case, I chose the edge between the empty set and two, and the corresponding edge between three and two, three, and I've colored those edges red. The only difference between the picture on the left and the picture in the middle is that two matching edges have been colored red. Now, let's go to the third picture. What I've done for the third picture is I've taken the two red edges and made them blue. I've taken the two red edges and made them blue like this. And now, in the third picture, you see a Hamiltonian cycle in the three cube. Okay. Is the meaning of these three figures clear to you? All right, let's do it for a four cube. Now, this, these pictures are smaller. I, I hesitated to, to put them, try to put them all on one slide, but if you don't put them on one slide, you, you don't see the transition. On the lower left, I show a four cube being built in an inductive way from two three cubes. In each of the three cubes, I have drawn the Hamiltonian cycle that we just produced. So there's a Hamiltonian cycle in the lower portion, and the matching Hamiltonian cycle is shown in the upper portion. Now I go to the middle picture. What I've done is pick my favorite edge. Okay. The important thing here is which edge you choose does not matter. It's important that you choose the same edge from both copies. So the one that I have chosen is the edge uh, two, three, one, two, three, and that's shown in red. And the matching edge is two, three, four to one, two, three, four. So those edges are red. And now I'm going to swap them for blue. And that's how I went from the middle picture to the rightmost picture. And now in the rightmost picture, I have a Hamiltonian cycle in the four cube. And this continues by induction. And so all of the cubes from size four and up are Hamiltonian. Now, if, if you don't think you are just accomplished something, just randomly take a picture of the five cube 
and try to find a Hamiltonian cycle in it. You probably won't do it in 10 or 15 minutes. It's not totally trivial. But if you have the one in the four cube, and there it is, you can take two copies of that, pick your favorite edge, swap that edge out, boop, voila, and there is your Hamiltonian cycle in a five cube, and you, you get it in about 10 seconds. You'll, you'll spend more time drawing the picture than finding the cycle. So this inductive property of the cubes being built, that the n plus first one is built from two copies of the nth one, is fundamentally important. 